It's May 4th, 2012, and I thought I would post a update on my garden. So far I put in two kinds of beans, the radishes, peas, uh, did I say beets? Kale, more beans, okra, and tomatoes. And this is the irrigation system that that Vince put in. It gets water off the pond. You just open up the PVC valves and then the lines just fill the different rows. So you can water everything in about five minutes. Now what I did, and I don't know if this is going to work or not. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. There's my sugar peas. Faba beans. Oh, and I put in, it's called caldoon. It's related to a, it's a thir thistle, it's related to an artichoke. I don't know, something different. But at the end here where the caps are, so you can see that one, that's, He said, oh, you can just take the caps off and then irrigate this back end. What I've been doing is flooding through the green chili seed in here. The thing about green chili is it doesn't like the water that, um, as much water as the rest of the plants. So this way I can control the water in there and I don't know, maybe it'll work. Then, um, See, there's my radishes. Look how pretty they are. Um, what I'm going to do, those plastic containers down there on the end, those have been little shelter houses for the tomatoes in case we get another frost. But I don't think we're going to get another frost because they've moved us into a warm recline zone this past year. Although there is no global warming where they adjusted. So I'm going to take these guys. Look how cute he is. Look at that little mater. Huh? And then I'm going to weed. And any of these that I see, I'm going to leave those because those are inedible. Um, here they... Here in New Mexico, they call it calitas, and then the rest of the country, they call it lamb's quarters. It's very good. Okay, so I'll take all the little houses off, let the tomatoes go. All right, look how pretty it is this morning. <laughs> 